Yo, what's going on, YouTube family? This your boy, Blood Raw. I see different back at y'all with another quick video. Remember to make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Oh, yeah, make sure that post notification bell on so you will be alerted every time I continue to drop that. Ugh! Throw Ikes on my YouTube channel, baby. Let's go. This video here, man, is just going to be a quick video. You know what I'm saying? I want to bring forth about these creatures and mythical creatures that we've been taught, accustomed to, and being given as far as the movies, the cartoons, and just the characters all around. So let me start back. First off, let me start by saying, make sure you hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? You know, it ain't nothing but love. It don't cost you nothing to hit the like button. But anyway, as far as these myth mythical creatures that they've been giving us through the stories, through the movies, through the entertainment, like as far as with the vampires, the werewolves, the dragons, the unicorns, the leprechauns. In a way, I feel like that ties into CERN as far as with them opening portals, them trying to reach the God state as far as tapping into the dark matter. But as far as the creatures goes, Especially as far as vampires. Me as a child, I used to be into vampires very, very heavy. I used to be all into the blood drinking. It just fascinated my mind as a youth. You know what I'm saying? I was so amazed by the vampire theme. And when they started coming out with the vampire movies like Dracula, even some of the Breaking Dawns, they are a little far-fetched to me because they it's more love. It ain't nothing to do with the vampires themselves. It, they blew the shit way out of proportion in Hollywood. But anyway... As far as the vampire goes, that is the real being, bro. A lot of people looking for the motherfucker coming out with the cape on, with the two long fangs. It's what Hollywood has given us as far as through movies, cartoons, animation, all that there. We've been had vampires. Vampires date way back centuries and centuries. We have vampires right now, right here in 2022. Now in real time. You're probably thinking back, well, you're probably, excuse me, you're probably sitting there. I, you remember, I don't do no edits in my video. I give it to you raw and uncut. You're probably sitting there thinking to yourself like, what the hell does this guy mean there's real vampires? There are. You, are you heard of adrenochrome? That what they take from the children, the, it's basically like a youth serum. These folks are literally drinking blood. They tell you this shit, bro. You got some of the celebrities like Cher. Like she says... She puts on the makeup, which a lot of the makeup has aborted baby fetus stem cells in it, which basically is like a youth serum. You had the actress Betty White made a joke about one of the uh, people asked her in the interview, how do you constantly continue to stay and look so young? And she was like, well, I drank the blood of virgins. But she was acting like she was joking, making a joke. No, that was basically telling you in a sense but everybody's so fucking dumb filing in sleep, they took the shit as a joke. She basically was telling you what they do in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about how you think some of these people that's 50, 60 years old still look like they 20 to 25 years old. All you see is youth. They look more younger now in their older age than they did when they actually was younger. They are your modern day vampires, bro. I'm breaking this shit down for y'all. That adrenal chrome is basically a vampire. You can't get no more simpler than that. Those folks are shooting up injections as far as the adrenochrome, drinking it, and God knows what else they're doing for, for with it. The adrenochrome is a form of adrenaline. What they do when they kidnap these children, they torture and scare these children so bad that the adrenochrome it's being extracted from. That's when it's, it's most potent and pure. And they have it where you can actually go buy this shit, bro. Research. They are actually selling adrenochrome. And I talked about in a previous video, the movie's Monsters, Inc. Y'all was taking y'all kids to go see that shit as far as entertainment or cartoon. Y'all parents were so blind and they're watching this shit with y'all children. That was the same thing that they do with the adrenochrome. That was predicted programming, showing you what they was doing. In the movie Monsters, Inc., what they do to the children? They will scan the hell out of the children and what that little meter thing was doing. It was filling up. And what the monsters were doing, taking it, processing it. That basically was the adrenochrome being shown 
as far as how they process it. You got to have an open mind when you see these movies, man. And like I just said, that movies Monster Inc. was basically showing you how they was extracting the adrenochrome through the children's screams, terrifying them, and what it did in that movie, the Monsters Inc. When they were screaming and scaring the kids, what happened? That thing was filling up, and once it got full capacity, ding, they was taking it, processing it. That's the same type shit, bro. When they extract this adrenochrome, these modern day motherfucking vampires that's drinking these children's blood. That's the same motherfucking concept as the vampire that they give you and portray in these movies. Y'all looking for a motherfucker to come up and bite your neck and drain you of your blood like that. No, they can't just give it to you like that. They give you the baby steps, softening your mind and showing you the motherfucking adrenochrome, man. These people are drinking this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's what the fuck they are doing with these fucking children, man. They are drinking and extracting adrenochrome from these children, your own modern day vampires. So now, when you see someone that should be aged like a motherfucker, especially in the elite, the Hollywood celebrities, they are so wrapped up in the system, bro, as far as all the demonic, satanic shit, when taking children, they are literally selling this adrenochrome, bro. This is fact. Go research this shit, bro. But I ain't gonna stay on the vampire too long because they got these other creatures that I want to explain to y'all about. But yes, you have your vampires. These folks are drinking blood. Y'all looking for the motherfucker to come out of a cave, hanging upside down with a cape, long, sharp fangs, biting you on your neck in the dark. No, your modern day vampires are the elite, the rich, powerful, those that's behind the curtains, some of your Hollywood elite that's pushing their agenda, the people that you know that's 60 and 70 years old, but they look younger than you and you're 25 to 30 years old. They look younger than they were in their own actual youth, man. These people are taking the injections, drinking this stuff, man. Taking the children and extracting this stuff from them. Drinking blood, bro. They are your modern day vampires. Now, let me jump to the werewolf. The werewolf is a mythical creature. But me personally, I believe they are walking amongst us. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are aware about this video that's been going viral now for two weeks of the werewolf figure standing beside that zoo gate. I think it was the zoo, but it was a gated, gated fence area. And on the cameras of the surveillance system, they caught this wolf wear like figure just standing up on his two hind legs and just walking, man. A lot of people being skeptical, saying that was somebody dressed up in a costume and people just trying to get clicks and views. But the video shows a werewolf like creature, wolf like creature standing on his two hind legs like a human like a wolf man on the outside of this gate at a place where they had a surveillance camera set up at. You know what I'm saying? And then dealing with CERN, there's no telling what the fuck they done let crossed over to this dimension from a different realm. You know what I'm saying? And you got to think of the, like the Chupacabra that's out in Texas. That is a werewolf type creature. You know what I'm saying? It drinks blood like the vampire, but it goes at the mammal. So, Humans are a mammal, so basically, it will get your ass and eat you and drain you of your blood. The chupacabra, that is a werewolf type sense being to me. And you know what I'm saying? You got to think about, they don't know what's out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We go by the movies and the entertainment, but we're not able to open up our minds, man. You know what I'm saying? We are not able to open up our minds, man. And that's like even dealing with the mermaids. You know what I'm saying? People looking at the mermaids are uh, this beautiful thing with long hair, beautiful skin. I'm pretty sure something of that nature exists. You got a lady had a video a while back where she was riding somewhere and along a river, she seen something out there in the ocean, in the water rather, and it was popping up, came up, let her see it. And she was videoing her, she went viral. But as far as a mermaid, a mermaid will be not no beautiful individual with long hair, pretty face. You got to think about it. If it's living in the depths of cold temperatures, it will have to have some type of strong structural skeletal makeup in order to withstand extreme cold temperatures. But they have only been able to discover 5% of the ocean. So ain't no telling what the fuck they're out there. You see how they found an oar fish that gets 100 feet long and deep, deep depths. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the technology to go to the bottom the deepest parts of the ocean, man. So there's no type, there's no telling what type of life form is down there that we haven't discovered yet as humanity. You know what I'm saying? But also, a lot of these mythical creatures, they are real and they are walking amongst us. 
You know what I'm saying? Like you have the Giants. You know what I'm saying? Like they saying a lot of soldiers are coming forth saying they are fighting 20 to 30 feet beings over the right now in the mountains of Afghanistan, which are giants. Have like fucking 10 fingers, 10 toes, and I'm talking about moves at speeds you cannot imagine. I'm talking about just killing the Afghan soldiers, all type of shit, man. These are articles that you can go find and research and read about these 20 to 30 foot beings that's supposed to be over there in the mound that they have found that they are killing the Afghan soldiers, man. Like they went in there. The shit is, I know it's hard to fathom and wrap your mind around, but you have you got to have a consciousness and a wide way of thinking, you know what I'm saying, in order to concept and understand this video that I'm making. If your mind is closed off, you can't, you might as well don't even watch this video. But this video here is for all those that think outside the box. Because like I said, the vampires are real. Those people drinking adrenochrome, those are your modern day vampires living right now in real time. Your active celebrities. The wolf thing that they caught walking outside that gate on his two hind legs. You know what I'm saying? You even have videos and articles of people saying they hear loud screaming, howling noises deep in the woods, man. Deep in the fucking woods. A lot of people saying that's a abominable snowman, sat squash. But you got to think about it. What are these creatures? Where do they come from? Have they been crossed over from different dimensions, different portals, or have they just been hidden and being out there in nature all this time and now they are finally coming out? Because from all this new development, people destroying the land, they're building everywhere. So now these things are revealing itself. But the thing about it all, the age of Aquarius is real. The veil has been lifted and continue will be lifted for all eyes to see what's really around us or what's really taking place. Like I said a while back in a previous video, the human eye only sees like one, one to 2% of the magnetic, magnetic light spectrum, meaning we only can see what we see with the eyes. Ain't no telling what else standing around us. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about all the animals that's nocturnal, that hunts and feeds at night, that sees in the night. A lion's vis is a hundred times stronger at night than it is in the daytime. Just think about it. Now, just think about if we could actually see at night into the darkness, into the woods. Ain't no telling what the fuck is out there roaming, man. There's no telling what is out there roaming. And then I seen some articles about two weeks ago. I ain't really dig into the information. But now they're saying they have found another Loch Ness monster. You know, so I'm pretty sure y'all are familiar and heard all the folklore about Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Trust me. Man, there's so much stuff going on now in society and in this world, man. You about don't know what's real and what's fake, man. And that's facts. But you know what I'm saying? I just want to make this quick video about the mythical beings, the uh, vampires, the werewolf, the mermaid. You know what I'm saying? Hell, even fucking unicorns and leprechauns, man. We don't know what's